Well, now it's it's interesting because I think the climate more and more in the contemporary art world is incredibly sympathetic to uh, embracing traditional crafts within the context or definition of what it, what could be art. I mean, it's sort of come back into play, and actually, there are a lot of artists who seem to be making quilts and doing um, and and working in doing embroidery work, though with a kind of specific point of view, so that this is not it is not um, an innocent, let's say, quilt, but it's an, a quilt that has a certain kind of knowledge about the dialogue of what is art, the definition of what is art. Do you feel your work is doing that in the same way? Certainly, the things that I've learned, I've learned in the things that I want to use to talk about what it is that I want to talk about uh, are important. Mm -hmm. So even if I want to talk about tourist trade, since that's what I grew up with, or if I want to talk about a more formal analysis of art, mm -hmm. I know how to do that now and how to speak that kind of language. Do so yeah, my quilts, not that I've made many, but I have mm -hmm. made some, address that yeah. on a personal level and on a sort of academic formal level. Yeah, you're employing this, this sort of other level. Because it's as much a part of my experience as growing up in Tucumcari was. Mm -hmm. And so I'm curious, um, do you think uh, this is, if, if you were saying art and objects of life are the same, then how do you define what is art? Do you know if, if one is if if one has this inclusive, um, all-inclusive sort of embrace? How then do you define this as opposed to that? And this is this big sort of question for for all of us. 